heat number one is going to be Mikey Mixter, David Baldessari on the front row, George Edenfield and Nick Frank on the second row, Thomas Melnick Holland and Mar or Matt Armbust Arm Brewster, excuse me, on the third row. I apparently have been mispronouncing that. I apologize, Matt. All right, everybody getting lined up on pit road. Make sure you drop in chat. Let us know who you're cheering for, who you think's going to win, who you think's going to survive. As they start to roll back up off pit road. David and Mikey on the front row. This could get interesting. There's some very fast drivers out here. Looks like it will be two heats and a feature here tonight. Pace car leading him around. He'll drop off in turn three and four. Hey, they brought out the uh, they brought out the sedan as the pace car tonight. It's usually a truck on dirt, but awesome to see the sedan out there. That's something I would do. I like it. Pace car dives on in. Green flag in the air. Heat number one is underway. And Mikey Mixer, David Baldessari goes side by side into turn one. George Edenfield already looking for second. As it looks like David Baldessari got really loose in one and two. Lost a ton of ground. Now George Edenfield up to second. Matt Armbruster started to make his way forward as well. He is now up to fourth. Baldessari now back to fifth. He seems to be struggling since uh, getting loose on that first lap. And George Edenfield out front. Mikey Mixter now in second. Oh, and Mikey gets a little bit of the wall down the front straightaway. Edenfield out front by over half a second already. Just turned the fastest lap of the night so far. And he was actually six tenths of a second faster then Mikey Mixer and everybody else. It's starting to show as George already pulling away. And now Thomas looks to the inside, gets by Mikey Mixer down low. Matt Armbruster back in fourth place, starting to make his way forward as well. Mikey Mixer losing a little bit of ground here early after starting on the front row back to third. And George Edenfield has checked out. He is going to another time zone. He is so fast. Thomas Melnick Holland, his fastest lap is still a tenth and a half slower than George Edenfield. Edenfield now has an almost two second lead. Three laps to go here. George is going to take two to go. Popsicle sticks in the air. Thomas Melnick Holland going to hold on to second place. Matt Armbruster now up to third. Mikey Mixter has fourth. But Nick Frank is charging up to him. Will he have enough time to get around him here? George Edenfield takes the white flag at the start finish line. And the best battle on track may have just ended as Nick Frank gets into the wall. Can David Baldessari recover a spot or two here? George Edenfield comes out of turn four and is going to take the win in heat number one. Thomas Melnick Holland in second. Matt Armbruster in third. Mikey Mixter comes home fourth. And David Baldessari manages to recover to fifth place. All right, heat number two. 
It's going to be Wayne Bridges and Tom the Missile Land on the front row. Ryan, Nes Ryan Nesbitt and Chad Beesinger on the second row. Chris Standridge on the third row. All right, everybody getting lined up on pit road. Hey, if you're enjoying the racing, you definitely need to come back tomorrow night. We have a big charity event going on. The winner of the race wins a button box. The biggest donor of the week also gets a button box. There's prizes for the top three, and it is going to be great. It is the John Paul Jr. Huntington's Disease Charity Event, the final race of the series and already had two great races this final race we hope to be bigger than ever so please if you can drop in and watch if you can donate the links are on the facebook page and we really really appreciate it Edmund Jones cheering on the missile. Edmund Jones, of course, runs the Jones BS League you saw here on Monday nights, and you'll see every Monday night. Look forward to next Monday and watch some Legends cars on some really short tracks, and the uh, Wayland mods go at it on all sorts of different tracks. A ton of great driving. I just noticed Wayne Bridges is sponsored by Doug Tires. That's awesome. Literally the only logo on Wayne's car. I think that's the first time I've ever seen Wayne with a logo on his car. Pace car in. Green flag back in the air. They're down and away. Wayne Bridges, Tom Land side by side into turn one. Wayne gets a little bit ahead. And the missile is making a comeback on the high side. Through three and four, Tom Land way ahead. And here comes Ryan Nesbitt. Chris Standridge is closing in. This is going to be a four-car battle for the lead here in just a moment. The missile is still out front. A little bit of a gap on Wayne Bridges. Ryan Nesbitt looking for a position as well. Out of three and four. Now Nesbitt goes to second place. Wayne Bridges fighting back on the, on the high side. But he is going to lose second. And Chris Standridge now looking for third. Tom Land now has been in the lead, but now comes in the clutches of Ryan Nesbitt, who just ran the fastest lap of the night, faster than what we were seeing in heat number one. By like two-tenths of a second faster than the fastest lap in heat number one. This is truly going to be an impressive feature here tonight with these guys running as fast as they are. The missile still out front, still managing to hold off Ryan Nesbitt. Wayne Bridges in third has managed to hold off Chris Standridge, Chad Beesinger, the top finishing car, or the top finishing human, I should say, in the Dirt Daytona race this morning, or this afternoon, just a few minutes ago, back in fifth. The missile is going to get two to go this time by. It gets a little bit loose out of three and four, and here comes Ryan Nesbitt on the high side. Tom Land trying to drift back up and hold Nesbitt off. They're going to be side by side down the back straightaway. Tom Land gets into three and four, gets a little bit ahead. Ryan Nesbitt trying to cross over. They touch in the middle of three and four. Tom Land manages to save it. He spins the whole front straightaway saving it. White flag is in the air. Now Wayne Bridges back up into second. Chris Standridge is right there, but Tom Land has got a gap. Wayne's going to have to send it hard into three and four if he wants a chance. Can't do anything with him. It's going to be Tom Land at the checkers. Wayne Bridges in second. Ryan Nesbitt third. Chris Standridge is fourth. And Chad Beesinger currently in fifth for heat number two. All right. Feature time, boys and girls. George Edenfield and Tom Land on the front row. Thomas Melnick Holland and Wayne Bridges on the second row. Matt Armbruster and Ryan Nesbitt on the third row. Mikey Mixter, Chris Standridge on the fourth row. 
David Baldessar on and uh, Chad Beesinger on the fifth row. Nick Frank rounding out the field. And and we all know Nick cut his. He just shaved his head. He got rid of the mullet completely, and now he's having problems on track. So you know, Nick's probably gonna have to grow the mullet back if he's gonna be competitive again. We see it in every league we broadcast. The mullet gives them that extra horsepower and they just make their way to the front. Get rid of the mullet, you go backwards. It's probably why it's been so long since I've had a win. I can't grow hair. My production crew is laughing at me right now. All right. One more time around, and George Edenfield, Tom Land, will lead him down. Drop your predictions in chat really quickly. Let us know who you think's going to win here tonight. Pace car about to drop off. And the pace car is in. Green flag is in the air. They're down and away. George Edenfield gets a good jump. Tom Land immediately slots into second place. The battle is back behind as Wayne Bridges is going backwards. Out of turn two, Wayne Bridges, Ryan Nesbitt get together. Caution. Looks like uh, Chad Beesinger got caught in that as well. Looks like uh, Ryan Nesbitt just thought he had him cleared. Wasn't able to. Chad Beesinger gets caught in it as well. Looks like Chris Standridge caught a piece of it too. Chris ends up upside down. As Wayne bounced off the uh, wall, caught several cars. And it looked like Nesbitt tried to help flip Standridge over, couldn't quite get it done. And that is definitely going to shake up the uh, running order here. George Edenfield still in first, Tom Land in second. Then you've got uh, Thomas Melnick Holland in third. But beyond that, Matt Armbruster now in fourth. David Baldessar catches a little bit of damage there. Not too terribly bad. I think he just got grazed in that incident. And he's currently up to fifth. Nick Frank now up into sixth. Let's try and get a look at Nick's car and David's car real quick. Nick's car seems to be in good shape. David seems to be in good shape as well. We'll see when it comes off the corner here. Trying to get a look at the right side of both cars. No, David, a little bit of damage to the right front. Looks like mostly just scratches, though. Both of those cars seem to be okay. As they stack back up for the restart. Chad Beesinger, Wayne Bridges have both been to pit road and come back off. Chris Standridge had to tow to pit road. He is not out of the pits yet. As the pace car dives in. Green flag back in the air. They're down and away. George Edenfield and oh, Tom, the missile land on the high side, activating missile power here. He is going to make the pass on the high side. Can't get by yet. Too wide down the back straightaway. But it looked like Tom Land might have had him. Chris Standridge now back out on track. And it is getting really sketchy back here as Ryan Nesbitt's trying to make his way back forward. Edenfield still has the lead. Tom Land is going to fall back in line in second. Thomas Melnick Holland in third. David Baldessar in fourth place. And he's going to jump to the bottom here. It looks like he might pick third up. Ryan Nesbitt's going to come by and take fourth. Thomas Holland is going backwards a little bit here. Here comes Wayne Bridges. Ooh. 
Wayne now up to fifth. Thomas has dropped back to sixth. Now Matt Armbruster up into sixth. Thomas back to seventh. George Edenfield opening up a little bit of a gap, just under half a second on the missile. David Baldessere in third, Ryan Nesbitt in fourth with Wayne Bridges right there. Wayne trying to come forward. Those two involved in the lap, uh, lap two caution. Last time by, the fastest lap of the race was set by Tom Land, and he was one one hundredth of a second faster than the fastest, previous fastest lap by George Edenfield. You can tell these guys are running just so fast and such even paces. However, George seems to have the more consistent laps right now. He is way out in front. Now a one second lead over Tom Land. David Baldessere is actually closing on Tom Land now. Wayne Bridges in fourth place, 1.2 seconds back from David. Ryan Nesbitt right there with him. Thomas Holland now starting to make his way back forward. He is now back up to six. He had dropped as far back as eighth. He's starting to work his way back towards the front. And Thomas all over that back bumper. Let's see if we can dial up and take a lap in Thomas's car. Muddy visor. You see the track is starting to slick off in that middle lane. He gets a little bit of the curb coming off the turn. Gets a little squirrely there. Down through three and four. You see they just use a little bit of that curb. I think he used too much that time. Manages to hold on to it, but loses a little bit of ground on Ryan Nesbitt. Back up front, Edenfield continuing to lead. One and a half second lead over Tom Land. Third place, David Baldessar had been gaining on Tom Land. He's, act that he's actually starting to lose a little bit of time on Tom. Wayne Bridge is currently running in fourth. Ryan Nesbitt back in fifth. Thomas Holland in sixth. There's a battle going on for seventh as Matt Armbruster has now caught up to Beesinger. They are side by side out of turn four. It's a drag race down the front straight away. Matt Armbruster almost comes out ahead. Can't quite clear him yet. Out of turn two, still side by side. Finally, Matt Armbruster clears Beesinger. Ryan Nesbitt now being passed by Thomas Holland on the high side. Thomas Holland really starting to make his way forward. Wayne Bridges in fourth. David Baldessere in third. Tom Land has now opened up a one second gap on the cars behind him, but George Edenfield has continued to extend that lead now two and a half seconds. 15 laps to go for George Edenfield. As long as it stays green, he has this one in the bag. Tom Land in second, though. Might need to start worrying here in just a moment. David Baldessere picking up a little bit of speed, but Wayne Bridges really starting to pick up a lot of momentum here. Wayne looking for third on Baldessere. Can he get it? They move up the track now. We heard some of the drivers say that bottom line be fast early, fast late, and they'd have to adjust their line in the middle of the race. Thomas Melnick Holland is 2.4 seconds back from Wayne Bridges, and he is closing on him. Last time by, he actually was the first time he lost any ground to Wayne Bridges. Thomas might be the fastest car on track right now. He just needs everybody to get back into a pack. He needs a caution. Meanwhile, we've got a battle going on back here. As Chad Beesinger is starting to make his way back, he slips by Ryan Nesbitt. Nesbitt's going to fight back on the bottom. Can't quite get there yet, and off of turn four, Chad Beesinger is going to clear him. 
Back up front, Edenfield has got clear sailing. Matt Armbruster has had an incident. Looks like a... There might have been a glitch. The caution has come out. Oh, it looks like he was trying to get to pit road. I think he might have blown an engine. No, he is still under power. He just lost it in the turn. And this is definitely not what George Edenfield wanted to see. He had a three second lead when the caution came out. Baldessere and Thomas uh, Melnick Holland though, both of these guys definitely appreciate it. They are two of the fastest cars on the track right now and they have been making their way consistently forward. Now George Edenfield's going to have to fight off everybody all over again. He's not going to have he's going to have less than 10 laps to go. Edenfield gets the one to green. Looks like it'll be a single file restart this time. George Edenfield up front, then Tom Land, David Baldassar, Wayne Bridges, Thomas Melnick Holland. Those two cars in fourth and fifth, if they get a good restart, these top three cars really need to be worried. These are two guys that have fought their way through the field more than once after issues early in the run. Pace car is in. Green flag back in the air and the single file restart will definitely benefit George Edenfield here. Tom Land already looking for a move on the bottom. Can't do anything with him. Now watching Wayne Bridges and Thomas Melnick Holland back there in the middle Looks like Wayne Bridges has a run up off of four. He is looking to the outside here of David Baldessere. George Edenfield still out front, but he has not been able to pull away this time. He's got Tom Land all over the back bumper. Tom going to the high side. Wayne Bridges to the high side for third. Wayne Bridges clears the, fifth, the five car of David Baldessere and is now going to try and run down the leaders. While they're side by side up there, Nope, uh, George Edenfield clears him out of two. They were briefly side by side, and it definitely helped Wayne Bridges. Now, Thomas Melnick Holland has also been coming, but look who's back in the mix, Ryan Nesbitt. He is on the move. He is down on the bottom. He's one of the drivers that said late in the run, the bottom line would be the place to be. He's gone down there and made his way back up to fourth. No, I'm sorry, he is currently in fifth, looking for fourth on David Baldus here, and he's got a run on the bottom. Into turn one, it looks like he is going to take fourth. Wayne Bridges, meanwhile, not gaining a lot of ground on the leaders this time, but Ryan Nesbitt is. George Edenfield has not been able to open up that big gap again. Tom Land currently in second, Wayne Bridges in third, but Ryan Nesbitt the man on the move right now he is on the caution waiting to see what this one was for I do not see any cars I did not actually see any cars involved in any incidents. I'm thinking this was just an iRacing glitch to pull the caution. Mikey Mixer and Nick Frank were going at it. Let's see if something happened there. Off into one and two. Mixer way, way wide. 
little bit of a bump off of Nick Frank. No issues there. So no idea what triggered that caution, but uh, they will get going racing again here in just a moment. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, all the things. We have all the things now. get one to go here in George Edenfield the single file restart definitely benefits him but Tom Land was making that high side work really really well the last couple of laps after that last restart he was able to stay right on the back bumper and now Wayne Bridges and Ryan Nesbitt are third and fourth this caution definitely benefited those two drivers pace car is in Green flag back in the air. It'll be three laps to go. Tom Land all over the back bumper. Tom to the bottom. He is on two wheels through one and two trying to get by. Ryan Nesbitt pushing through the... Oh! Contact! Tom Land backs out of it. Tom Land is around in three and four. Caution. Tom Land just gets a little bump out of turn two. Tried to back out of it. Got a piece of Nesbitt. Got a piece of Wayne Bridges. Ends up in the outside wall. George Edenfield did an amazing job saving that car, as did Nesbitt and Wayne Bridges. All of them getting a little, uh, the car's getting a little upset going through the turns. A 2,200 pound race car banging into you at that speed is probably going to unsettle the car just a little bit, but these drivers did an amazing job saving it. And it will be a green-white checkered finish. George Edenfield up front, Wayne Bridges now second, Ryan Nesbitt now third, David Baldessare back up in fourth, Thomas Melnick Holland is in fifth, Matt Armbruster in sixth, Chris Standard seventh, Nick Frank in eighth, ninth is Mikey Mixter, Tom Land back to tenth, Chad Beesinger in eleventh. George Edenfield, as hard as Tom Land sent it through one and two last time, up on two wheels. Imagine what Wayne Bridges and Ryan Nesbitt are going to do here. They are going to go full send, 100% throttle, and just sling those cars around for two laps. This is going to be a three-car battle for the lead. Edenfield has been up front all night long. Now he's going to have to hold everybody off. Pace car in, green flag back in the air. It'll be two to go at the line. Edenfield gets a good jump. Nesbitt down to the bottom. Not enough momentum off to Wayne Bridges. Manages to pull ahead for second, but Edenfield still holding them off. He is still up in the lead. Here comes Nesbitt for second. At the line, I couldn't even tell you who was ahead, but now Edenfield... Has to hold the bottom, block the bottom and the top. Ryan Nesbitt to second. Can he hold Wayne Bridges off? He's got one more shot at the win. Down to the bottom. Through three and four. They're going to go full throttle off the turn. It's going to be George Edenfield for the win. Ryan Nesbitt in second. Wayne Bridges finishes third. Thomas Melnick Holland comes home fourth. David Baldessare is fifth. Matt Armbruster sixth. Nick Frank is seventh. Mikey Mixer is 8th, Chad Beesinger ninth, Chris Standards 10th, and Tom the Missile Land back in 11th. And George Edenfield, what a dominant performance here tonight. And 
and I don't actually see George available to interview right now. So let's see if we can get a hold of Ryan Nesbitt. Hey, Ryan, it's Doug. You got me? Yeah, Doug, I got you. Hey, man. Uh, heck of a run there at the end. I mean, it looked like that last lap you might have a shot at the win. I was I was trying like hell, um, but man, George was very consistent, very hard, really hard to beat. Yeah, he definitely had a consistent run, but man, you hopped down to the bottom at about ten laps to go and just started marching your way forward past everybody. Yeah, I got I got involved in that that early caution and had some damage, and I could not get the car to drive, so I ran to the pits when we got that second caution. Uh, the problem was we just didn't have that many laps left, but uh, no, it was a lot of fun still. Well, man, it was a heck of a performance, and just looking, you had one of the fastest, I, wait a minute, I think you actually had the fastest lap of the race there, and that was uh, fairly late in the run, too. I mean, that's how quick you were there at the end. Yeah, that bottom came in, um, and it, yeah, it was a good line. I'm glad I jumped down there. No one else was using it, so I figured I'd go for it. Uh, it definitely worked, man. Congratulations, buddy. Thanks, Doug. And George, still not available. We'll get a quick word with Wayne Bridges. Nope. Hey, George, this is Doug. You got me? Yeah, go ahead, Doug. Hey, uh, I have to say, man, you did an amazing job dominating that race, but especially that last restart, holding off a hard-charging Ryan Nesbitt and Wayne Bridges. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that got a little sketchy a couple times. It looked like Ryan might have a shot at you on the last lap, but, man, you just had the most consistent race of anybody. I was trying my hardest. <laughs> it definitely showed, man. That was a heck of a win tonight. I appreciate it. Congratulations, man. A great dominating win. Thank you. All right, let's see if we can get a hold of Wayne. And it looks like Wayne has already hopped out, so we'll try and talk to him next week. Don't forget... Tomorrow night, we will be back with the John Paul Jr. Huntington's Disease Charity Event Race number three. It's going to be the Daytona Road Course. It's going to be the GT4s. It's going to be awesome. Highest donation of the week, the winner of the race. Both get a button box from Crazy Vet Fam. Other prizes as well for second and third place. And I have something very special to do tomorrow night as well. So you're not going to want to miss out on that. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to come back next week and join us as the Dirt to Daytona series goes, continues on. Next week will be awesome, and every week of this series just looks to be more and more fun. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It has been a blast. I hope you guys had as much fun as we did. Y'all have a wonderful night.